Oh my god. Let's go. Nervous this time. Matthew, crazy. This is hello. Welcome. This is so crazy. Oh my god. Where? Oh, okay, because you got that angle. Yeah, I've done this one. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. So, yep, my dream proposal actually took place. I was more so touched by the fact that Matthew made it happen no matter our circumstances. He had just landed from the US around 3 a.m., hadn't slept, came to the beach with his aunt and cousin, and they built this dreamy, romantic setup. They had hired Parvati for the photo shoot, which was the best decision ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was pure serendipity because she turned out to be my long time subscriber and even she wasn't aware I was her client so it was a complete surprise for her as well. Not just that but she is so good at her work. She made us feel very comfortable. She just asked us to be candid, have conversations, play around with each other and not think about the camera. So there were no typical awkward couple poses. She truly captured the essence of our relationship through her photography and we are so grateful that she was part of our special day. Definitely check out her work. Work, I can't stop raving about her. Also shout out to Maria and Gina T who helped Matthew out and basically made this proposal happen. Good. Then we went to a nearby resort to have a quick breakfast as Matthew had to leave immediately for some urgent work. I was sad that we couldn't just spend time with each other after the proposal but considering tomorrow is the official engagement, both of us had things to do and places to be. Yes, of course I carried the cakes home with me. And of course, I'm going to obsess over my new ring. I was too excited and I had called and told my mom about the proposal and she was so, so happy for me. I was randomly dozing off everywhere due to exhaustion. Today also happened to be Easter and my mom's eldest brother, who's also my godfather. It was his 70th birthday. So we had this big celebration at his house with the whole family. And I got my second big surprise of the day. My cousin Anila Chechi, who's from Kenya but living in the US, surprised all of us with her arrival. I was literally crying because she's very close to me and had told all of us that she won't be able to make it for my wedding. So yeah, I was ecstatic that she could be with us all. All the cousins started rehearsing the engagement entrance dance and it was such a fun time. Especially being the youngest girl in the whole family, they've been part of my life since I was literally a newborn baby. So it makes me feel immensely blessed to have their presence in my entire life.
After coming home, my cousins wanted to hear all about the proposal and unbox the gifts Matthew got for me. They were all teasing me endlessly here, but also just super happy for me. I was so excited to get my first Louis Vuitton bag. This is the Speedy 25 for anyone interested. And unsurprisingly, it quickly became my go-to bag. I didn't vlog the rest, but most of my cousins left except Ala Chechi and Anila Chechi. Basically, Athra and Ala Chechi were going to MC tomorrow and had to prepare their script. Can we be inviting all of them on stage? Oh, yeah. When we call out. Yeah, oh, yes. they're, not, they're not already on. Oh. No, they're not. The dance song, dance dance they're dance dance they are already there. And then we say, now we're going to introduce the bride's family. So we request you to please come on stage. Just be like, Meghna, blah, 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 blah. And before we continue, we'd like to invite uh, Meghna's Meghna parents. Parents. How their story began. Something like that. Like, yeah. This is a love story no less than any fairy tale. We cannot begin the celebration without yeah, taking without, you yes. all back. Yeah, yes. over nine years ago, Very uh, that, I was like, it was love at first sight. Daily FaceTimes, several virtual dates, countless sleepless nights, and not to mention the pandemic. It has been nothing short of their unfailing trust for each other. Amazing. Seriously, these are oh. amazing. <laughs> oh, with a C in the background. Yeah. Thank you. So beautiful. Oh. Oh. the dress look. Yeah. Very nice. I yeah, like the casual yeah. Who's taking the picture? She turned out to be my subscriber. She didn't know it. After she connected the dots, when she would make it, she's like, oh my god, I've been following you for years. Yeah. Oh. This uh, new Celebrity. chapter in your life. Yeah. I, I really like this part. Really good teamwork. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's so much when fun. When are we supposed to finish this? 15 minutes. Who comes there? 15. Next. <laughs> 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 Are you finished? Are you finished? One hour. Katie, I said 7.42 on the, I said, We'll fin finish this in 15 20 minutes. Even 9 4 right? Yeah. After both my cousins left, Athra and my mom were doing some last minute stitching work on my blouse while I finished packing for tomorrow. In the first bit, if you notice, I start like this in the center. Yeah, you need to turn in the middle. I'm going to go. That's because me and you are just looking at each other and when thing you need to turn here. Yeah. Right? In, in the middle of the group, whatever. And then we turn the other side. And then we again just follow what everyone else is doing for. So, that's when they'll give the mala, we put it, they'll give us bookies. Oh, don't be stressed about the dance. No, it's okay. It's very last moment and you're not used to it. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. See you at the church. Good morning. 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 I feel good. Like, I thought I'd be super stressed, but I actually feel very chill. I think everything is ready. You can see we've packed all the stuff that we have to take to marry it. So that's where me, my mom, and my sister Athra, like, we all will be getting ready there. That's where my makeup artist, Asmina, will also be coming. And I think I have to be there by 11.30 or something like that right now. It is 9. So I'm going to take a quick shower. My makeup artist asked me to just wash my hair with shampoo and not use conditioner. I think it's just better for her to be able to style my hair that way. I'm trying to go with open hair. Let's see how that works. I think I got decent sleep. Definitely not 8 hours or even like 7, 5 hours. But I feel good, well rested. My voice is slowly getting back. So I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> not talk much i'll try also i don't know if you've noticed i'm using a completely different camera uh, so this was gifted to me by matthew yesterday after the proposal oh my god i haven't even spoken to you guys about the proposal that's because there's literally no time even to process it in my head let alone share my feelings on a vlog about it because there's just been literally no time since yesterday okay i'll get into that later you can see the ring is here but i'll be removing this because today the engagement ring will go on uh, everyone's having breakfast downstairs i'm gonna take a quick shower 
have breakfast and my friends have arrived. KP, Ruben, Ajit and Meera, four of them have arrived at a nearby Airbnb that we had booked for them. They'll be probably coming around 10.30 to meet me. I'm so excited to meet them all. In the morning, I sent Matthew videos of engagement, reception, entrance, car, dance practice and he's just like, what is happening? Because my cousins basically choreographed it and did all that. Even Matthew has to, of course, move with the rest of us. So I just sent him a video. He's like, I'm more stressed about the dance than the entire event. But I told him, it's chill. We just have to be in the center. Even if we don't get the steps right, it does. it's fine. We just have to have fun. That is it. So yeah, uh, I'm excited to see Matthew today because, oh, I know he's wearing a, a very nice suit. I think it's navy blue or something. Can't wait to see him. So anyways, I should stop vlogging. I'll try taking whatever BTS I can, but I don't think I can like sit and talk in the vlog today. But yeah, I will put in clips of whatever happens today. My hair is a mess. Dude, this hair is so nice. Makes that sound. <laughs> what is this? My chocolate chip healthy oh, cookies. Oh, this is going to be my healthy mother dessert which I'm creating. Oh, so cute. Tango, tango, My voice is slowly going to be like, <coughs> not talking much. Oh, I'm but I mean, like five hours sleep, that's all, or less. Papa, mm -hmm. give my sari. What's up, guys? We're in Marriott. Meghna's day. <laughs> this is my sari, my engagement sari. We're taking makeup inspiration. Oh, lipstick is removed off, but I think eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Is it related? Look. Huh. A quick tour. This is our room for the day. Well, this is the bathroom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I had chosen airbrush makeup and you can see the machine here. This was my first time with an airbrush machine and I have to say it is such a soothing and relaxing experience. I chose airbrush because of the hot and humid weather in Kochi and airbrush makeup is just going to stay forever without moving a bit and also give me that flawless base. And I can tell you already it was the best decision ever. Thankfully I had carried the healthy chocolate chip cookies which KP had made for me and it really gave me the energy I needed. I was getting more and more curious about how my makeup was looking. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, I can see the nose cutting. Wow. Actually, I loved your base in your feed also. That's when I was like I need to book you for my wedding and engagement. Mom and Athra were so busy helping me around that they barely got any time to get ready themselves. I was feeling so bad about that to be honest, but they assured me it's fine and that they will get it done on time no matter what. Of course, Asmina draped my sari too and by this time we had the photographers and videographers come in to shoot some behind the scenes and getting ready shots. Asmina was adding some last minute touches to my hair and I couldn't believe how different yet beautiful my hair was looking. Needless to say I can't recommend Asmina enough for your big day because she truly made me feel the most beautiful I have ever felt. She has excellent skills which I'm sure you can see in this video. She's also very sweet to work with. We were getting late but before leaving the hotel my best friend Shivangi FaceTimed me all the way from Sydney as she couldn't make it but she wanted to see me all decked up. Of course I really missed her but yeah I'm glad even in the midst of all this chaos we could at least talk to each other for a couple of minutes. So after rushing out of the hotel we went back to our house where I met all my family and friends their reaction definitely reassured me of my makeup of my sari my hair do all of that i was honestly feeling so shy with all the sudden attention but yeah at the same time i was also feeling so loved and positive and i was in such good spirits and then we ready in the full day then yeah today full day is this i feel like i should just be here no it's your day I clicked some official photos and did the customary family prayer. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Please bless all of us who are attending this function today to joyfully see you face to face. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear parents, sisters, and brothers, and all, pray for Matthew and me for the blessings we need to remain faithful, joyful, and steadfast in our marriage vows that we are about to take. currently 5:35 pm and we should reach by 15 minutes i guess yeah about 15 minutes but i'm so excited to see matt and guys i am obsessed with my makeup and my hair i don't think i've ever felt prettier than this 
Asmina's done like a fab job. I wanted Asmina for the wedding as well, but then she was booked out. But it's okay. I hope the wedding makeup artist also does this job. Uh, I'd be super happy, and I feel like I look like myself. Just more, I don't know, like glam and decked up, yeah. But anyways, this is the only time I can probably sit and talk because once I'm outside the car, I know Matthew, his family, church, reception. Pretty sure I won't get this time. So, anyways, bye guys. See you at the church. I woke up in the middle of the night Ooh, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me Ooh, <laughs> Are you excited to meet Matthew? Yeah, I'm now nervous. <laughs> I was telling her I'm like so excited to chill, but now I'm here. Hey, oh, she came out, she came out. Nervous? <laughs> It is hard to share my thoughts Ooh, na, na, na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart It gets me But I know that you need it all Ooh, Just give me some time because I need to know The moment we've all been waiting for Meghna and Matthew have arrived Suraj ki baahu mein Ab hai ye zindagi Tu ki paal hai Aha Zindagi yehi hai Aap lagi hai Mein ho tu
of Vargi Sankar, Sheila Auntie and family. We would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you present here and making this so special for Meghna and Matthew. December 2013, Christ College, dance practice. Matthew sees Meghna for the very first time. It was love at first sight. And we are so happy for the two of you and even more excited that we get to celebrate the beginning of this next chapter in your lives. Congratulations, Meghna and Matthew. Meghna's father, retired Colonel Vergis Antony, was an officer in the Indian Army for 32 years. Her mother, Mrs. Sheila Vergis, is a wonderful homemaker and a loving mother to her two children. Matthew's father, Mr. Sebastian Jacob, is a businessman and has been in the seafood industry for over 30 years. His mother, Mrs. Sajni Sebastian, is a lovely homemaker and a doting mother to Matthew and his brother. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Just tell me you'll stay 